39. God with us. When Joseph was told that the Virgin Mary would give birth to a son, he was also given a name for the child, Jesus, meaning Saviour, for he shall save his people from their sin. Joseph was also told that this would be in fulfilment of Isaiah 7.14, and this child will literally be the Emmanuel, God with us. Matthew 1, 21-23 The child would be miracle-born, but his birth would not be as miraculous as Adam's, who was totally created by God out of the dust of the earth. The conception of the Christ child would be miraculous, but not his birth, in that he was woman-born. The modern focus is on the virgin birth because of the scepticism of many. Scripture rather concentrates on the fact of incarnation, of which the virgin birth is an aspect. The Christ child is God with us, God incarnate, very God of very God, and very man of very man. This is a fact of incalculable importance. It means that not only does our omnipotent and omniscient Creator know us totally in our every thought and in every atom of our being, but that, in the second person of the Trinity, we have God the Son, who has experienced all the problems and griefs of our lives. Neither our lives nor our problems are alien to him. This is why prayers in Jesus' name can be so open and intimate. He not only knows us totally as creator, but as the incarnated Son, he has shared our lives. Moreover, he has experienced sorrows and torment far beyond anything we have. In him we are present at the heart of God. This is why Christmas is so joyful a season. Our nearest loved ones cannot know and love us as the Son of God does. Therefore, rejoice 